Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I created this look right here because I, I wore this look in my video on Saturday which I uploaded and it was a makeup revolution haul and a lot of people weren't really worried about the haul but the look I was wearing in it. So a lot of people requested this look and it's literally like my signature, I do this anytime, like sometimes I do just do it on a daily basis. <laughs> But this is just my favourite look to do and I find it really easy to do now as well. It's really easy to do now as well. So I decided to do it all for you guys and show you how I do it. I hope the video turned out okay. And without further ado, let's go on with the video. Okay, so to start off the look, we are going to start with eyes first. And for my eye base, I thought I'd use my Revolution Pro full coverage foundation because I wanted it to be very full coverage and that is exactly what this did do. I only start with my eyes on this look because it's obviously glitter and I didn't want to use glitter and get everywhere. So for my eyes I use the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and I just used the yellow shade out of that so you can obviously use whatever palette you have and use a yellow shade. I then used my Jaclyn Hill palette and used one of the red shades out of that once again to your preference you can just use whatever palette you have. And then for concealer to cover a cut crease I just used the same foundation I used with just a small um, detailed brush and crown. And then I took it all the way, just past halfway, and then I used the NYX Glitter Glue over the top of the concealer and applied this MAC Gold Glitter, and the glitter is actually called Gold by MAC, and applied it straight there. I then used a bright red shade from Violet Voss, not Violet Voss, um, Inglot, and just with there was a sort of gradient between the glitter. And then that is it for the eyes. I then used the Pixie by Petra eyeliner, and... That is it, I use tape for my eyeliner because obviously this is prom and you've got to be careful and you obviously have not got the time to be rushing about and your eyeliner going wrong so tape is key here guys. Use tape and I promise you it won't go wrong. I then just applied lashes, these are the Ilo 157s and that is the eyes done. It was really simple, really easy. Honestly, just practice with your eye makeup and you will get the hang of it, I promise and it will go right on the night. So for skin, I'm using the Nivea Express Hydration Primer. It's a really good primer and I honestly do, do think it works and it's £3 from any shop. You can get it from like a supermarket or Boots or Superdrug, but definitely try it out and let me know what you think. For foundation, I wanted something really full coverage for prom, so I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro, should I say, Camouflage Foundation. It's really good and mine is in the shade F4. I find using a beauty blender works best because it is a full coverage foundation and your beauty blender will absorb some of the stuff that excess product you, your skin won't need. And then for powder, I'm just using a powder which is a similar colour to my skin tone but not too light because this is prone and we do not want a flashback Mary situation. And then bronzing and carving out my cheeks and I'm using Hoola by Benefit because what other product is best to use than Hoola, it's my absolute favourite and go to. I like to just do a long around my temples and chin as well because I want to warm up the whole face and not leave anywhere too light. And then it's now summer guys, so the best blush to use is California by Benefit. Once again, my absolute go-to and this smells so good. And then for highlight, we're using Pixie and Dolce Candy highlight. This is my absolute favourite highlight ever. It's so good. I'm just using this on a Laura Geller brush, but obviously you can use whatever type of brush you desire to and then we're just using some mascara for the bottom lash line because I feel like that really tied it together apart from that I felt like it looked quite dull but I feel like adding a little bit of mascara really did help a lot. And then for lips I wanted a nude because obviously a nude sort of goes with everything but I wanted the nude to be quite pink and I didn't really have the shade with me so I decided to mix two colours and I used Jeffree Star, Rose and Matter and on the top I used Butt Naked and that just that made my perfect shade. And then moving on to hair, I just wanted to do some curly hair because I had a lot of comments on how I did this particular look and it was in one of my hauls. I wore this look so I thought it would make a perfect prom look and to curl my hair in that video I just used this fabulous curler and instead of using it as a tongue curler I just use it as a barrel without closing the actual curler itself. 
So I wrap around my hair and leave it about five to 10 seconds in between there. And then I just let it go and it just leaves a really nice part. And I promise you, these, these don't drop. I have the thickest hair ever. It is an actual nightmare. And I promise you, this is the best color and best way of getting my curls to stay. And sometimes I hold them as well, just so they don't drop. And that is the finished look. I really hope you like it and let me know if you do this look for prop. Thank you! So that was the finished look. I really hope that you liked it. I really enjoyed filming it and I hope the video turned out okay. So I'll see when I import the footage. But this is just my signature look and if there's any more looks you want to see me do or any other videos you want to see me do then make sure to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye!